getting into the music though, for real, for real. So like, as all this stuff is all as all this stuff is coming out, it takes time to I guess put in a song. Yeah. Cause I know no jumper. You said before they was talking about naughty bop, they was in like the studio the same day. Yeah. And I know you didn't make like a naughty bop, but you made the song switching sides. So like, did you wait for like you know stuff to happen before dropping that, and and then taking it there, or like how do you go about doing that? Um, I kind of just I waited it out because yeah, I what I see like what would happen. Yeah, what I noticed is like, yeah, I was just basically trying to wait it out to see what would happen because basically, I was cool with them when that shit happened. You feel me? Like even when it, the moment the day it happened, like you feel me, I was cool with them. I didn't know what their intentions was doing. You feel me? Because ain't had no beef with them. Then I had heard some shit, and then I just cut ties with them at that because it's like y'all putting me in a funny situation where now I gotta choose niggas I don't know or over like where I was raised and my home base. Like I just wasn't fucking with that, bro, and I just kind of cut ties with them niggas, bro. Okay, and then like so, and I guess because your manager was already known, you met four one, yeah, and that's kind of just how all that happened, yeah. And then, but didn't you do something like JD or something? Yeah, I did a song with JD. I was just off the string for like, I just hit him up. Mm, I just hit him up. He was with it. He was trying to do it. He always, I always fucked with his music, like coming up in the Brooklyn sound. Like, mm -hmm. he was one of the niggas I always fucked with. So I just hit him up one day. I made that shit happen. We just did it. And really, I was cool with Boona. And Boona was already cool with him. So, like, he kind of just made it happen. It was just like a fuck it, let's do it type of thing. How's Boona? You spoke to him lately? Yeah, he been good. He kind of just was staying low key. I've been telling him he got to push his music and just keep going. But. My son, it's been a kind of like a whole breakdown because we was all rooted by somebody who is now, his whole shift of attention is on these kids. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, we was there before them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we just basically got shelf by the nigga. So we decided to part ways and I both left, both of us like, yo, what the fuck we about to do? Like, I ain't know what to do. You feel me? I'm just going along with it, bro. I'm just trying still, bro. What, well, in that, did you, like, what did you think was like, in a... I ain't gonna lie, real shit, sometimes I, I ain't really want to tell myself this, but sometimes I be thinking that like, it'd be over for this shit, like, at least for me. I done been through so much ups and downs and shit, I done, sometimes I be stuck and nobody knowing, like, how to bounce back. But then that's why I say thank you to my supporters and my fan base, because, like, when I look at certain shit, it just makes me want to go harder, so it's like, I can't, they counting on me, so I, I gotta do this shit, bro. And what do you feel like you're missing to take your career to the next level? I ain't gonna lie, that computer, that label. Word, that's I feel the, like a label right now. It's the only thing, bro. Cause didn't you have a disco deal or something? I mean, but it was like. It was a small machine. You need a big machine? It wasn't really. It wasn't even brought to my, my like fucking attention. Like, I didn't even know that. Like, niggas was just doing that shit. This is what I'm saying, nigga. Mm. It was fucking niggas over, bro. I ain't even know that. You feel me? Oh, bro? I didn't know you. Yeah. So. Mm hmm. But um, so you so you really never got official label. Mm, no, nah, I never signed. I never been. No, nah, I never signed to no label. Okay. When I was with Fr, he partnership through them through him. Mm -hmm. So now it was like a whole thing there. Every artist that there was basically owed to do this and this and that. Like you feel me? I never went to no label and signed no nothing like you feel me? No, nah. hell no. Hey guys, it's Enrique from Talk of the Town. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube to see more.